yes, you can still plant things in November in zone eight, and I'm super excited to share them with you. I do need to say that sadly, the time for planting seeds outside or sowing seeds directly outside is over in zone eight, but you can still put some transplants in the ground and you may just want to get some of these last minute crops in before we get any kind of frost and it wipes out the rest of your summer crops. I do want to mention really quick before I get into what we can plant that this will be our last planting video for this year because there's not really anything that you can put in the ground in December. Plus it's really cold and who wants to be out planting in December? Um, so this will be the last video for this year and I will probably come back with another one in January or February because there'll be tons of crops that you can start inside for your 2025 spring garden. So without further ado, let's get through the last video of the year real quick. So I have two sections on my list. The one is can be planted until the end of November and then the other section is things that can be planted for the rest of the year. So yes, there are still some things that you can plant in December that you should just be able to plant all winter as available. So go ahead and feel if you want to start some of these seeds inside now, you could do that. My first crop for late November that can only be planted till the end of November is broccoli transplants. You can still get some broccoli in the ground if you haven't yet or if you feel like you don't have enough which is probably where we are right now. So we may still try and get some more broccoli in the ground. And if you could put broccoli in the ground, you can put other brassicas in the ground right now, like Brussels sprout transplants, cabbage transplants, cauliflower transplants. And of course you can still put in kurabi transplants. By the way, I wanna know, have you ever grown kurabi and what are your thoughts on it? It's something that we've considered growing but haven't yet because we're not sure how it's going to turn out. Plus, you only get one of those little bulbs per plant, so I'm not sure about for our large family that's the best solution. So if you've ever grown kurabi, please drop it down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. The, the last thing that could still be planted until late November, and I know that this is going to excite a lot of people, is lettuce. You can still put lettuce transplants in the ground until the end of November. Um, Preferably, I would say you probably want to do this before we get our first real frost. Lettuce can normally only handle light frost. Um, so it's probably not going to hold up too long. But if you wanted to just get some in and get a little bit of a harvest before our first heavy frost, you could probably do that. So my next section is all winter crops. You guys can plant these all winter as available. You may not be able to get them at nurseries though, I'm thinking. I'm not sure if nurseries are gonna just sell transplants for this stuff all winter. But you could start the seeds yourself inside and then move them out and harden them off to the cold weather and then move them outside. And the reason that these crops can be outside all winter is that they can handle hard frost and we don't normally get a hard frost in zone eight long enough for it to kill everything. So the first one is collard green transplants. We know how much everyone loves their collard greens, so why not get a head start for 2025 Get some in the ground now and keep it going all winter. The second one is kale transplants. Pretty much the same thing. This is just going to be another type of green that you could put transplants in the ground for. And then mustard green transplants can still be put in the ground and can be should be able to be put in the ground all winter as long as you have the transplants for them. I don't recommend sowing a, these things, any of these things by seed outside, as I already mentioned. Then the one, one of our favorites for this year is Swiss chard transplants. You can still put Swiss chard transplants in the ground. And honestly, I if they survive all winter, I will keep you all posted. But if these plants survive all winter, I am going to be shocked. They would have meant that they survived all spring, all summer, all fall, and all winter. And they went an entire year. And that would be absolutely insane. Now, so far, the only variety that survived all summer was the Ford Hook Giant, and it's supposed to be a little bit more heat tolerant. And so far, I absolutely love it. It's been the best grower. We did have some ruby red, but it only lasted until the spring. So I may try and put some out this winter. And then last but not least, spinach can be, even though it's technically like a leafy green, but we use it as a lettuce, sort of, can still be put outside by transplant all winter. So you can still have your green salads all winter, even though you don't have tomato said bell peppers and cucumbers, you can still have some fresh greens every once in a while. So if you all want some tips on how to keep these crops going all winter, I did a video just like two weeks ago about cold hardy crops, what crops could survive throughout the winter and how to care for them throughout the winter to hopefully keep you going 
all winter long. And if you, if we can keep our gardens going all winter long in zone eight, that would mean we could have a garden all year round. And that would be amazing. So far, our farrow garden is going pretty well. We have a bunch of those fall seeds that we planted coming up. I'm super excited to see how it turns out for us. I've had so many people tell me we need to do a fall garden that it's way better than spring and summer. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna keep you all posted on our garden and our thoughts. But like I said, no more planting videos until 2025. I'm so sad. I loved doing these, but I will pick them back up in 2025. Hopefully in January, but might not. Might be starting in February, depending on what the weather looks like and how cold it is. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you can please drop a comment down below let me know if you will be sticking around to see the videos in 2025 of what you can plant in zone 8 and let us know what your thoughts are for your fall and winter garden are you going to have a fall and winter garden are you not going to have a fall and winter garden and why and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe